CBS 2 is always investigating and right now this entire community in the south suburbs is just five days away from having its water shut off. Their landlord didn't pay the water bill leaving them on the hook. It's a story you saw first on CBS 2 and tonight the Blue Island residents are making a new plea for help. Our Andrew Ramos has been following this since it first unfolded and he's in Blue Island. The clock is ticking for Kiki Jones and others at the Forest View Mobile Home Park in Blue Island. The mom who works from home among the dozens of residents at risk of losing water come Monday. I'm still hopeful that they will figure something out and the city of Blue Island will at least consider this or give us more time. Time is one thing they did not get. Notices were sent out last week blindsiding residents when they learned their property management hadn't paid the water bill since March. The current balance we learned over $850,000. The people united. They have since rallied, seeking answers from Forest View Management and the city to no avail. That water service shutdown still set for November 20th. And according to the city, the site will no longer be deemed safe. Residents already being urged to vacate their homes within 30 days. They don't care. They don't care about us at all. They don't care about our families. They only care about money. For Giovanni Gonzalez, a mother of three who has lived in the community for nearly a decade, a plan B is not an option. Where do I go with my kids? Where do, how do I just take their home away from them to take them somewhere that I don't even know where we're going to end up at? While a city administrator would only tell CBS2 that the outstanding bill has still not been paid, residents tell us they were told that Forest View Property Management is currently in talks with the city to pay off a portion of the balance, but they are moving slow. Families hope their presence in numbers at a city council meeting tonight is enough to move the needle before they're left high and dry. We are humans and you guys are treating us like trash, just like you're treating this park. Now, CBS2 has made numerous attempts to get an update on this situation from the property management team here at Forest View. We were directed to contact their attorney. That attorney has yet to get back to us. The water is still set to be shut off on November 20th. Reporting in Blue Island, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News.